Connor, come on! I've got Maureen McCormick with me. She'll let you finish anywhere. Okay, everyone hide upstairs. Daddy's gonna take care of this. <laughs> what it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. And today we're bringing you a Try Not to Laugh Family Guy edition. Now, uh, video, video, video. Uh, I am sitting on a big ball because sitting in a chair, I don't like it. You know what I mean? It's not as, uh, see, look, I can just, oh, uh, yeah. Just spread it out. Stretch it up. Oh, that's good. Oh, just get it in there. Oh, too far. Oh, we're back in there. Hold on. If you guys want to watch the original video, the link is more than likely not going to be in the description down below. Let go. Wish I could get tickets to that show. We interrupt this program to bring you a Channel 5 News special report. That's right, Joyce. And just to put it out there, Tom Tucker is packing. I drive a 2006 Infinity and I don't intend to lose it. So come and get some, punks. An increase in crime? That can't be right. I haven't noticed anything like that. Well, I hate to admit it, Lois, but over the last couple of years, this town has changed a lot. And not necessarily for the better. Yeah, I mean, the other day I left a duty right in the middle of a crate and barrel, came back 45 minutes later, it was gone. Well, I oh. agree with you guys. I think Quahog is still pretty great. You know, oh. it's hard for me to take the things you say serious. Who poops in the barrel? and leaves it there. Were you hoping other people would find it? And if you were, what did you expect them to do with it when they did? Hmm? These are the questions. These are the questions. Obviously, when I know what's been in that mouth of yours. Look, I realize Quahog isn't the small town it used to be, but it's still very special to me. It's my home. Yeah, come on, guys. She's got dyed roots in this community. Lois, I know you love this town, but nothing is ever as innocent as it seems. <laughs> What the f Give me all your money. Okay, okay. You have a white wallet? Yeah, just like Truman Capote. Who's Truman Capote? What a surprise. The muggers never heard of Truman Capote. There's a library card in there. Use it. All the fish in the bucket now. Uh -huh. Now one fish at a time is a reward. All no. of it. Okay, 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 the one thing you don't want to do is tell me to take it easy. I do that thing where you rub my belly. I really like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I'm gonna balance a ball on your face. Yeah, I like that. No, I don't. I mean, uh. <laughs> no, nah, but that was, that was probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Like, you get thug life. No, all of the fish in the barrel. Not one at a time as a reward. All of them now. Give me the fish. Yo, that's... Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Library card in there. Use it. All the fish in the bucket now. Not one fish at a time yep. as a reward. All of them. Yep. Okay, Drop it. Take it easy. Drop okay, it. Okay, the one thing yep. you don't want to do is tell me to take it easy. I do that thing where you rub my belly. I really like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And sit on me while you do it. Do it now. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't look at me. No, don't look at me for confirmation. I know what I'm doing is perverted. Just do it. Do it now. Yeah. Yeah. Now pull out one of your teats. Only one of them. Slow. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm going to balance a ball on your face. See, it's not dirty because he only said one ball. I don't know if very many people with a single testicle. So I'm just going to take that to mean that it's the same type of ball that I'm balancing on. We. Oh, what type of sh What the f What is this? What is this? Why is why are there so many situations in this that have gone so left? Yeah, now I'm gonna balance a ball on your face. Oh, oh! What did he do? Didn't the doctor help? Why is the baby so angry? 
Well, you guys, we did it. We finally went to a restaurant without somebody yelling at us and then the rest of the place applauding them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so creepy to think there were strangers in our house. I've never felt so scared. I have. Mother... And now we wait. <laughs> Why is this whole thing so funny? <laughs> oh no, they took my gym shoes. Sorry, glutes. No blasting today. Son of a bitch. They also stole my sense of wonder. Nope. Oh, this is horrible. Maybe you guys were right. Maybe our town has changed. It's sad to think that Quahog isn't safe for families anymore. I mean, all I ever wanted was to raise our children in a wholesome place, far away from all the crime and problems of the big city. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Um, I'm looking for a wholesome place for my family to live, so I'd like to buy your farm. All right. Well, the going rate for my farm is $875,000. Uh, n nobody called ahead? Hello? Oh, yes. Yes, that'll be fine. Ah. Hey, Lois, you know how I'm always buying things impulsively? Well, that's going to be very hard to do now that we're living on a farm. What? What are you talking about? Um, a farm, Lois? It's where veg... That he bought impulsively, might I add? Vegetables live? Peter, you went out and bought a farm without even talking to me about it? Well, Lois, in my defense, I have nothing to back up the beginning of this sentence. I can't believe this. But it's not like it's the first time you made a big family decision without consulting me. Yes, I'd like to see your quietest doctor. Peter, where'd you even get them? No! How do you get somebody an abortion without their knowledge of it? That is so unbelievably shitty. The money to make that kind of purchase. I sold the house, and I did it on Craigslist, so I also made a dangerous friend. Why? No! How could you sell the house? Spona Street is our home. I mean, I have three aprons that say Quahog. What do you want me to do, start all over? And Chris, you've been telling me how you wanted to watch animals humping other animals. What might not be okay with it? That's true. And Meg, you yourself said lip gloss unicorns Channing Tatum something something bullcrap. You were listening the whole time? Really? Really? You were listening the whole time? Bro, that's that's honestly honestly I've I've used that tactic on women later like legitimately. Yeah, you know I mean, just say what they say back to them slower and more sexfulier. You know, and things usually go better. Just put more bass in your voice like this. It's like, but you gotta be authoritative with it and shit. Bring that ass over here, young lady. No. No. Because, look, I was doing my old people impressions, so that's what they usually do. <laughs> don't worry. We're going to edit all of that out. <laughs> Peter, I don't think this is the right horse. I am 100% positive this is the right horse. Come on, guys, what do you say? Will you join me in eating eggs fresh out of a chicken's butt? Yay! No. Now I can be one of those filthy teens no. with sad eyes at a farmer's market! Hey, what's going on? Well, we've made a decision as a family, Brian. We've decided to take you to a nice big farm upstate. What? what A farm with big open fields, Brian, where you can just run and run and be free and no one will ever hurt you. No! You'll never take me alive! <clears throat> what the... Okay, I am at full candy corn right now. That's what turns them on, huh? Because that's what that joke was, people. Here we are, everyone. The Griffin Family Farm. Ah, look at us, Brian. Frontier people. I feel like those miners who first struck gold in San Francisco. Oh my god, we did it! We struck gold! This is amazing! We're gonna be rich! Rich and gay? Come here! No! No! What's up is- No! Hey, come on, man! I gotta get to work! 
And so do they, sir. Hurry it up! Wait a second. Hey, I thought I told you kids to go plow in the field. But, Dad, we've been plowing all morning. And, Meg, you gotta clear away all that brush so he can plant it deep where it needs to be. Okay, we'll keep at it. But I think that hoe is pretty much worn out. Well, flip it over. You can use both sides. Oh! Uh -huh. Peter, there's a guy stand... They know they're nasty. Hmm. He's standing out in the yard. Oh, yeah, that's Larry. Make me live now, honey. Ooh, you make me live. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Ooh, you make me live. Peter, I'm dying. This is the last time I'll ever see you. Bye. Oh! We haven't grown a single crop to sell. And meanwhile, you're spending half our money down at the general store and the other half at the specific store. How much should each almond weigh? 0.8 ounces? Sorry, we only have 0.6s. Ah. Yeah, hi, do you have stuff? Yeah, we have stuff. And is it true that you've been spending the farm's money on gingham shirts you tie into a knot to expose your belly? I bought a couple. I'm oh! afraid we're gonna lose this farm. Right, just what I need. I'm you ever been eating and saw something so distasteful that it literally started ruining the taste of what you were eating? You know what I mean? So nasty, some mess, some mess around and made my food taste less good. Ooh. My conscience, another failed business. Hi, I'd like to rent the proposal. Hang on, let me check the return slot. I'm sorry, it hasn't been returned yet. I have a poster from the proposal you can look at. You'll get most of the story. Huh, they seem pretty mismatched. There you go. Farming takes incredible skill and knowledge and the sort of specialized experience that takes generations to acquire. Dad, my favorite hen laid this crazy-looking egg! Cheap, cheap. What's your point, Brian? My point is... So this video's got everything. You know what I mean? People getting shot at, babies shooting off umbilical cords, Chris having sex with chickens. Like, yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it hits all angles. That maybe I should go to the local state college and take some agriculture courses. With the proper training, maybe I can actually learn something that'll save this farm. Okay, that's all my stuff. I'm off to State Tech Ag Central College Tech. There's really two techs in there? <sighs> the proudest day of a man's life is when his dog goes off to college. I'll learn all I can, and I'll see you guys soon. No, it's not. Soon. Guys, what's that over there? Oh, my God! It's a tornado! And it's coming this way! We gotta run! Run, so on, guys. It might just be the Tasmanian devil. Come no, on, that's, not that's not better. That's not better. That's not better. What is that? Ah, oh, sweet! It's some kind of lab. Hey, maybe it has one of those things that goes... Because that's important for science. Look at all this stuff. Burners, plastic tubing, 12 cases of cold medicine. You guys, I think this is a meth lab. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! You guys, there's a fully functional meth lab in our basement. Boy, we should clean this place up. It's a meth. Brian? Oh, right, you're at college. We have to call the police. Whoa, 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 hang on, Lois. Now, I know you're freaked out, but when you really stop and think about it, this meth lab is our family's best chance to make meth in a lab. No way, Peter. Dealing drugs is morally wrong, not to mention incredibly dangerous. Come on, we've always been risk-takers. You remember when we did it in the bathroom at that restaurant? I can't believe we're actually gonna do this. Yeah, you go in first, and I'll go in a minute. Oh, wow. You dirty girl. Peter, I haven't left yet. You sick whore. Look, it'd just be temporary. I didn't laugh. Did not laugh. But I thought about it. Until I realized what they did in the bathroom, and I was like, it's not funny. Lois, just for a bit, just till we get the farm back on its... But even that does not ruin my food. I'm telling you, man, 
I'm enthusiastic about things that are delicious. Mm. Its feet. Till we get our family back on its feet. I don't know. I... Lois, we've always given our family whatever it needs. All right, Peter, we can make one mess, and that's it. And it's only because I don't see any other way out of this. Thanks, Lois. Oh, this is going to work out great. Everyone, now that I'm a meth dealer, I'm going to respond violently to outside noises that the rest of you don't hear. Uh, okay, Peter, but I... Who was that? Dad, I think that was just a cricket. Then what the hell was that? That was just me saying that was just a cricket. Dad, settle down. Come on out, whoever you are. I want to show my kids what it looks like when a bitch dies. Peter, there's no one there. Well, maybe I should just fire a couple of rounds into the darkness. Don't hear those crickets no more. I'm not going to make... Make it. You hang in there, you hear me? Listen to me. I want you to take care of my kids. I will. Let them know. Gee, I hope I didn't scare the cows. I don't want to put them in a bad mood. <laughs> Fly away, Benjamin! Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. Now this is the money I owe Peter. I want you to take it back to him. Do you understand? I'd like to buy 400 bliss. See? See? Not only these hoes ain't loyal, even the pigeons. Mr. Packs of Actifed or similar pseudoephedrine based decongestant? Why? I have a cold. A chew. Hang on, let me check something. Okay, you're fine. Be right back. <laughs> No way someone's a doctor here. Hey, Brian's home. What the hell is going on? Nothing, nothing. Just working on a family project. Getting in some together time. I have a crossbow. Chris has a crossbow. Okay. Here's a new kind of meth you put in your pee hole. Wh what? Oh, yeah, we're meth dealers now. Yeah, you missed it. My teeth came in and then fell out again. I don't believe this. Are you guys insane? We're rich is what we are. Look at all that cash, Brian. He, he don't get none of that. He wasn't here for it. Hey, look, our meth is on the news. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, methamphetamine is flooding into Quahog in epidemic amounts and is believed to be originating from the nearby rural community of Farmton. Farmton, that's the name of the place we live. I forgot to mention that earlier. For more on the story, we now go live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Oh, meth is fine. Everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. Oh, yeah? Well, if we're dealing so many drugs to Quahog, why is the Quahog envelope so light this week? Yeah, I say we go down there and talk to those people in Quahog. No, this is what I'm talking about. Meth has turned us into monsters. Lois, take it easy. No, you know what? This is my own fault for listening to you. I forgot you don't even know your ass from a hole in the ground. I'm going back home to Quahog, where I belong. If any of you want to come with me, you're welcome to. First of all, you sat in something green and it's on your butt, so no one's going to follow you. And second, no one's going to leave a place where there are tons of beakers for a place where there are zero beakers. Peter, don't you see? We left Quahog because of the crime problem, but now we've become part of that problem. Let's go, P But you got the money. And money buys a jet ski. And you've never seen an unhappy person on a jet ski. In turn, money buys happiness, which means right now I'm making you happiness. Not math. Let this happen to you, to us. Peter, let's go back to Quahog. But, but what about this farm and this house and the lab inside the house, which is currently producing an incredibly volatile and explosive batch of thermoreactive chemicals? to be back in our old house. How do we get this place back, by the way? Well, luckily the value of this place plummeted because this is a meth town now. You know, I think the lesson here is that if your community has problems, you don't abandon it. It's better to stay put and help fix those problems. Peter, I need a taste. 
Oh my god, it's Jody Sweeten. Quick, everyone lie on the floor. Peter, come on! I've got Maureen McCormick with me. She'll let you finish anywhere. Okay, everyone hide upstairs. Daddy's gonna take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody hide upstairs. Daddy's gonna take care of this. <laughs> oh, I bet he will. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know what I mean? If you did, comment. Make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Almost missed it. Uh your boy Black from AD coming at you live from breakfast. You know what I mean? Featuring uh bacon, eggs, oatmeal, and already devoured waffles. Twisms.